In the past module, we have introduced the basic properties of collisions in a Coulomb collisions in a plasma. We have now all the elements to study, to analyze the collisional processes in a plasma. And we will focus on three of those. The first one is the slowing down of a beam that uh, passes through a plasma. Second process, collisional process that we will look at is the plasma resistivity. And then uh, we will uh, order the collisional time scales present in a plasma. More precisely, what we have evaluated was the slowing down of uh, one single particle with uh, the VE velocity. And uh, this, uh, the variation of the parallel electron velocity we have seen uh, is equal to the electron ion collision frequency times the electron velocity. And this uh, is equal to, we have found, uh, For pi, ion density, Ve, B pi over 2, Coulomb logarithm. And uh, inserting out the expression we have for B pi over 2, this will be equal to this expression here. This formula here actually allows us to evaluate the slowing down of an uh, electron beam in a plasma. The focus we will put is uh, on a beam that is characterized by having a Maxwellian distribution function. That is in the direction parallel to the uh, incoming beam, to the velocity of the incoming beam, the distribution function will be given by the density times a normalization factor times this exponential where ue is the collective velocity of the beam, the average velocity of the beam. We can draw this distribution function as a function of v parallel e. ue will be localized here. And the Maxwellian distribution function will develop around ue. We will make the assumption that uh, Ue is much smaller than V thermal E. Therefore, if you want that the spreading of this Maxwellian is much larger than the uh, average velocity, the average electron velocity. Now, in order to evaluate the slowing down of the beam, what we have to estimate is uh, the Ue over dt, the variation of the average velocity of the electrons that constitute our beam, and this will be equal to the frequency that we have just introduced here, the electron ion collision times the parallel electron velocity, averaged over the distribution function of the beam. In other words, this will be equal to minus 1 divided by the normalization factor and 0, and then the, this quantity averaged over the distribution function. And in the case uh, that we are looking here of uh, Ue much smaller than V thermal E, this is approximately equal to minus nu e i u e, where Well, this is the result of the averaged 
collision frequency if uh, that you find if you carry out uh, this integral in the limit of uh, ue much smaller than v thermal e as we have uh, uh, given here Okay, this collision frequency gives the slowing down of the electron beam due to the interaction with the ions. There are, however, also collisions of this electron beam with the electrons that are present in a plasma. So, in general, in this case uh, of electrons scattering against electrons, other electrons, one cannot assume anymore that the target particle are fixed and the calculation of the scattering angle has to be done again. In general, the analysis is more complicated. However, we expect that the deflection will, uh, of the electrons impacting against an electron will uh, be similar to the one of uh, present uh, in uh, the electron impacting against an ion. And without carrying out all the detailed calculation, we can uh, write that the electron-electron collision frequency can be estimated to be given by this expression, which basically corresponds to the electron ion collision frequency take into account that uh, ions have a ions and electrons may have different uh, density and uh, electrons are z times uh, have uh, z times the electron charge okay now we have all the elements to evaluate uh, resistivity in a plasma let's imagine to have a plasma we apply an electric field charged particle will start to move uh, responding to this electric field however their motion will be slowed down because of the presence of collisions and these uh, overall uh, dynamics will uh, be can be represented as an effective resistivity of the plasma so let's evaluate this uh, resistivity our plasma will be made by uh, ions and electrons. Now we apply an electric field E and particles will respond to this electric field that the uh, ions will start to move in the direction of the electric field along the electric field while the electrons will be pushed against the electric field. This effectively will result uh, into a current in a plasma. Well, <laughs> electrons and ions will tend to respond in a different way. As a matter of fact, the ions are much heavier and they respond to the electric field mm, less promptly than uh, the electrons. Therefore, what we will do, we will focus on the electron dynamics, which have a higher mobility. And uh, the uh, electrons will satisfy, we followed uh, an equation of motion, which states that they will accelerate, will be accelerated by the electric force, and then slow down by the collisions collisions with the ions, where uh, the collision with the ion we have just evaluated is given by the effective collision frequency for electrons against the ions that we have evaluated in the limit of uh, the drift velocity, so the velocity responsible for the current being much smaller then the thermal velocity. Now, in order to make some progress, let me make a couple of observations. The first thing is that after a transient where particles are accelerated and then slowed down by collision, there will be a steady state where the d over dt term will be equal to zero.
second thing is that we notice is that in general j is written as minus n e e u e minus u i and if we multiply these equations now for uh, e e squared what we obtain this expression where we have explicitly written the REI term and uh, what we have here actually is the current this will be actually given by will be actually equal to ME collision frequency and current which implies that E is equal to ME nu i e squared eta e. Now we can compare this with uh, Ohm's law that we, we know from uh, medium, from all the other medium, from metals, etc. Let's say that E is equal to eta j, from which we obtain by comparing these two expressions and uh, introducing the uh, evaluation of the collision frequency that we have given previously, we obtain that resistivity in a plasma is given by by this expression which represents the plasma resistivity due to electron-ion collisions. Two observations here. The first one is related to the dependence of the resistivity of the temperature and what we observe is that the resistivity decreases with the temperature. This is fairly surprising if you want. Well, if you think about metals, the resistivity definitely increases with the temperature. And the second observation is that uh, this resistivity is independent of N, of the density. There is nowhere uh, density, the plasma density. Why is that? Well, basically the reason is that uh, while the number of carriers, of current carriers increases with the density, also, the collisions increase with the density and the net effect will be that the resistivity is independent of density. We have evaluated the effective collision frequency related to the slowing down of a beam entering, of an electron beam entering a plasma. We have also mentioned that the same beam can be slowed down by interaction with the other electrons. There are many collision frequencies that we can think of ions impacting against uh, other ions or ions against uh, electrons and also we may be interested for example not only in the slowing down and the foreign exchange of momentum but rather on the exchange of energy. There are a number of collision frequencies so what I try to do now is to give an overview of all of them. The first collision frequency that we have just introduced was the collision frequency of the electrons against the ions. And this is one that we have evaluated rigorously and we have found uh, that it's equal to to this expression here. We had briefly mentioned the electron-electron collision. We did not go into the details of the derivation. We have just shown that the order of magnitude should be similar to the one for the electron ion. And then uh, based on the electron-electron collision frequency, we can imagine what is the collision frequency for ions against the ions. And well, this will be basically made by replacing the ion, uh, the electron mass with the ion mass and the electron temperature with the ion temperature. besides, of course, the density and the charge.
Now, these three collision frequency are collision frequency for momentum exchange. They represent the change of velocity, they refer to change of momentum of an impacting particles. However, particles also exchange energy. For example, there will be some amount of energy that is gained by the ions when they enter, when an electron beam enters in a plasma. What is it? It is energy. Well, because of momentum conservation, we will have that m e delta v e has to be equal to m i delta v i, which implies for the variation of energy for uh, ions that uh, one half m i delta v i squared by using this expression for delta vi will be equal to m e squared divided by 2 m i delta v squared and now as delta v perp is uh, much larger than delta v parallel we will have that this uh, is equal to m e over 2 m i delta v perp squared. Why is that? Why is v perp much, delta v perp e much larger than delta v parallel e? It's because, uh, as we have derived in the previous module, we have that v e, v e delta v perp parallel e is comparable to delta v perp e, and as v e is much larger than uh, the variation of the energy, we will have that delta v parallel e can be neglected here in the evaluation of delta v per delta v e. Now, as we have uh, evaluated the variation in time of delta v per e, that is. Uh, we will have uh, that the exchange, uh, the frequency at which energy is exchanged is equal to which can be estimated looking at what is the expression for the EI collision frequency for momentum exchange as 2 m e over m i times this collision frequency. This is, as a matter of fact, a much smaller quantity than uh, the collision frequency for momentum exchange of electrons with respect to ions. So here we are ready to summarize the result that we have found throughout this collision frequency. And if we represent uh, time, we will see that basically there are three families of collisions. The first one, which is the fastest one, is, uh, which corresponds to a very fast time scale, is the one of uh, electron-ion and electron-electron uh, collision. And then after a time scale uh, that is of the order of mi over me, square root of m i over m e, that in the case of hydrogen is about 40, then we will have the ion collision time scale. And then again, after a time scale a factor of m e over m i uh, under square root, then we will have uh, the exchange of energy. So what will happen in a plasma? Well, in a relatively short time scale, electron will collide with ions and with the ions and with the other electrons. This will uh, lead to a isotropization of uh, the electron distribution function, which will therefore tend to a Maxwellian 
on a time scale that is longer by a factor of 40, then the ions will collide with the other ions. Basically, uh, the ion distribution function will tend to thermalize. And after a factor of 40 in the time scale, so on a much longer time scale by an order of 40, then the electrons and ions that have thermalized within each other will exchange energy and uh, they will uh, tend to, to reach the same temperature. There is still one time scale that I would like to add, which we did not derive rigorously. However, one can find that it's uh, similar of, uh, to the energy exchange collision frequency and is the one of the ions colliding against the electrons. So the slowing down of an ion beam entering a plasma because of collision with the electrons. This may be important in some processes that uh, occur in, uh, in fusion plasmas. We have considered a number of collisional processes that take place in a plasma. Well, let me just summarize the most important result. The first one concerns the plasma resistivity. We have found, and uh, this is quite uh, surprising, that uh, the plasma resistivity decreases with the temperature and is independent of the, uh, the, of the density. We have also looked at the collisional time scales present in a plasma, and we have seen that the energy equipartition time scale is about 40 times longer than the ion collisional time scale, which in turn is about 40 times uh, longer than the electron collisional time scale. With this, uh, with the present module, we conclude a uh, detailed analysis of uh, collisional processes in a plasma. In the next module, we will uh, go back to the Boltzmann equation and uh, we will simplify it, assuming, looking at cases where collisions in plasmas can be neglected and therefore deriving the equation that describes the dynamics of a collisionless plasma.